Hey guys, it's V. So today I am super excited to talk to you guys about a new palette and it just came out yesterday and I saw it on Melissa, I'm not sure what her last name is, but Melissa, I'll link her down below. I saw it on her channel on her Friday favorites. As soon as I saw it, I screenshotted it, I looked it up on Ulta to see how much it was and I went and bought it. And it is $32 and it is the Soul Matte palette by Pure Minerals and it comes in this adorable little box here. It's got some cute little origami on it. And yeah, so I went to Ulta and I made sure that they had one. I called ahead of time because if they didn't have it I was going to cry. And the lady said, yes, I stocked it myself. We have got a bunch of them. And so I went and I picked it up. And the reason I was so excited about this palette was because it is Soul Matte. So it is all matte shadows. And I don't know if I've mentioned before, but matte eyeshadows are my shit. So I had to get this palette. Every matte palette I have to get. And I've already, I already own probably like seven or eight so sorry <laughs> so once I saw her mention this I had to go get it <laughs> so on the outside of the package which it comes in this nice little metal package and on the opposite side of the cover you have got a list of all the names of all of the different eyeshadows and what I love about this is since it's called soul mats all of their eyeshadows are named after like companion like they're named stuff like that you'll see what I mean it's kind of like a matte version of the naked three palette in my opinion because it's really rosy warm fall colors it also comes with this really cute little uh, eyeshadow brush and I used it at the end of this video for this eye look I did this eye look all with this palette and so if you want to see that then stay tuned so right here is the confidant shade then we have the shade called BFF, then we have a shade here called Sidekick, and then we've got Alter Ego, which is my personal favorite, and then we have got Better Half right here, we've got Adore here, and we've got Companion here, which is an awesome highlight shade, We've and then last but not least, we have Sweetheart. So that is all the shades in this palette. I'll show right now my swatches that I did for you guys on my arm and also a couple pictures just to show how it looks. They start out a little bit sheer but you can definitely build them up. They are very buildable and I love the color choices. I don't have any matte palettes with these color choices. Most of mine are just browns and neutrals so I absolutely love how warm this palette is. It's going to be a great fall palette and I'm so excited to have it. I think that this palette is a great price for your money. For $32 you get 8 shades, so that's a plus right there. The color payoff is pretty good. I did use a primer on the swatches that I showed you, so those are with primer. So all in all, I am really excited to own this palette and I cannot wait to do more looks with it and to play with it. And I definitely recommend for anybody who doesn't have these kind of matte colors because they are a good quality product and I definitely think that they're totally going to be great for fall. So I just am excited to use them. <laughs> so I used this eyeshadow palette to complete this look and here is how I did it. Okay, I started out with my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit in the shade Light and right now I'm just filling in my brows with the little brush that it gives me. I'm using the lighter shade first and then once I'm done I go in with the darker brown shade and just fill in a couple little pieces of them. Okay so once I'm done with my brows I use my brow shaping clear wax to make sure they stay in place. Then I have the Urban Decay primer in Eden and I just get a little dab of that and put that all over my lid just to make a nice clean base for me to work with. This takes a minute for me to get it all nice and even on both sides. So then I'm just taking the Pure Minerals palette and I'm using the shade Confidant and I'm using the brush that actually came with the palette. It's just a eyeshadow brush and I am distributing that evenly all over my lid. It really doesn't look like a huge difference but it just gives a nice pink hue to my lid. And then 
After I'm done with that, I decided that I wanted to use a little bit of the Sweetheart to kind of give it a little bit more um, pinkiness to it. So I added a little bit of that on there. Then I've got my e.l.f. Studios Contour Brush. This is one of my favorite for the crease colors. And I'm using the shade Better Half. And I am just digging that into my crease a little bit just to give it a nice pinky hue. This is a very cute pink subtle eye look. So just putting that in my crease a little bit. Then I'm taking my favorite shade in the palette, which is Alter Ego, and I am putting that in my outer V, and I'm using the same e.l.f. Studios brush because the color that I used before it was lighter, so I'm just adding a little bit of depth and darkness to the corners of my outer Vs. Then after that, I am taking the companion shade and using my fingers like the real professional that I am, just kidding, and putting that as my highlight shade. Then I decided that I wanted to make Alter Ego a teensy bit darker. And after I did that, I just took one of these brushes, I don't know what brand it is, and just kind of blended everything out. Then I took Confidant again and put that into my inner corners. Then I took my Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. It is a total dupe for the Kat Von D ink liner. And I am just drawing on my cat's eye with this. What I love about this eyeliner is that it is a super thin felt tip, which is amazing for doing a cat's eye. I can get it done pretty quickly. And this eyeliner does not smudge on me all day, which... The Kat Von D claims to be waterproof, but if I put it too low on my eye line, it can, then sometimes it can fade away on me throughout the day, but I see that this one has stayed really well. So then I'm taking the Subversion Eye Primer, which I also did a review on, and I will link that down below for you guys, and just putting a nice hefty little coat of that on there. Letting it dry, letting it dry, just gonna let my primer dry. Then I'm taking the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Sample that I got for my birthday. I mentioned that in my Sephora haul. And I'm just putting a nice little coat of that on there. Once I've done a nice, nice good coat of that on there, I'm taking the CK1 Mascara that I got for free from Ulta for my birthday and just getting rid of some of the clumps with it. It has a really um, spread out brush, so it works really well for getting rid of clumps. So I just did that, and that is my last step, and I am finished. So that is my finished look, and I know that it's really subtle, but that's usually how I wear my makeup, and I love these colors for fall, and I just think that they're beautiful. So that's my review of the Pure Minerals Soul Mattes palette. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a comment, a like, uh, and definitely subscribe because every person counts. I am so glad that you guys are here and watching me and I just want to make videos that you guys love. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!